Thanks for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Tharp. Scientists at the Texas A&M Global Health Research Complex have identified a new variant of the COVID-19 virus, naming it BV1 for its Brazos Valley origin. What is BV1 and what happened to the person who tested positive? We have the answer. GHRC researchers found BV1 in an A&M student on March 5th. It then took five weeks for the student to test negative for COVID-19. GHRC chief urologist Dr. Benjamin Newman says because it's the first of its kind, they don't know why BV1 lasted so long in the student. Is it typical for coronavirus in general? No. Uh, for most people of the age of the student, we would expect them to have virus inside them for a week to 10 days, two weeks at the tops. Dr. Newman says the important thing is that it's not a severe disease, at least not in a particularly young person. So we think this may be one that would be a little bit harder to stop if it really got going, but it may not be one that we have to worry about as causing anything worse than uh, ordinary COVID-19. So that's a little bit of positive news, I would say. Dr. Newman says BV1 was found on A&M's campus. He says he thinks the different strands they're seeing from on campus is probably what's going on all over the world. His team just happens to be looking on campus. During their testing, some positive cases stood out by being just different enough from other variants like the UK variant. They were changed in almost the same place as the changes that make the South Africa or Brazil strains a little bit harder to deal with um, from some vaccination point of view or from antibodies. Dr. Newman says they suspect it's a good idea to keep an eye on these strands since they're all so new. Basically, these are bugs we would like to squash before they have a chance to get out there and do anything in the world. Dr. Newman says there are several COVID-19 variants in the world and their job at the GHRC is to act like an early warning system. He says they want to get out the word about new strands so that other public health officials and people working at hospitals know the strands are out there in some capacity.